Hello everyone and welcome to another Bliss Tech Solutions Tech Tip. And in today's Tech Tip, we're gonna show you how you can use Microsoft Word to um, do a transcript of a video or an audio file. This is something I found out by accident because I wanted to create trans transcripts of these videos and I Googled it and apparently you can do it in Word. You don't need any other special software. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So basically, it's the Word Online version that you need to use. So the first thing you need to do is go to Microsoft Office 365 Online, which is office.com, and then click on the Word icon over here, and basically work your way through to creating a, a new blank document. Then when you're in that document, up here on the, uh, the top, you've got a, an area where it says Dictate. If we click the arrow to drop down there, you've got an option to transcribe. Click on that, and then you get the option to load a file. So you can um, transcribe from MP4 videos uh, and MP3 files, and M4A files. So you can do video or audio, and you get 300 uh, transactions or transcriptions uh, per month that you can do. So very simply, what we're going to do, we're going to upload a file. This is going to take a few moments, so I'll speed up the video. So depending on the size of the file, it can take a while. Um, so what I've done here is I've transcribed, this is a transcription for my previous uh, tech tip that I did. And we can see it breaks it down, it rec can recognize different speakers, and it breaks it down by the sort of, um, the, the time intervals within that. So you can add it to the document as is, so by clicking add to document, or you can just say with timestamps, with speakers, or with speakers and timestamps. But I'm just gonna put in the text. That's gonna add it to our document. And now what I can do, I mean, it won't be perfect if you've got an accent like I have, if you talk quickly like I do. It won't pick necessarily pick up of the words perfectly, but you can go through this now and edit it and make it readable. And you've got a transcription that you can use very easy to create. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again next time.